What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you on how to set up the player head lookout with control rig. It's gonna be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to learn how to make an FPS shooter in Unreal Engine 5 with all the mechanics you need in only one week. And if you use the coupon code GORKA GAMES in all caps, you get 20% off. So check it out through the link in the description. <laughs> Alright, and don't worry, in the next episode we'll go back into the quest system. So, the first thing I want to do is make sure we have control rig enabled, which you should, you should have uh, this by default, but just in case, go up in edit, plugins, search for control rig, and make sure that it is enabled. From 5.1 it should be enabled, but just in case, okay? Alright, so now let's go ahead into the content browser, just right click, go into animation, and go into the control rig section, and let's create a new control rig. Okay, it's gonna be from this pant, of course. Create this will be called CR underscore head look at. Let's go ahead and open this up. And when it's opened, there you go. What we need to do is go ahead and assign a skeleton. So let's go into this rig hierarchy uh, tab over here. And of course, if you don't see any of this windows for whatever reason, you can go ahead and open them in the window uh, panel here. And let's go ahead and you say import hierarchy. Basically, we are selecting a skeleton. In this case, it will be SK Manny Simple. Okay. And let's go ahead and click OK. And now we'll basically be importing all the bone hierarchy, basically the skeleton, into this control rig. So we can go ahead and use it. Great. So what we need to do is basically go ahead and move uh, the bones. So what we can do is use this node, which is the offset transform. There we go. And now here what we're going to do is select the item to be a type bone, and then we can assign a specific bone in here. In this case, uh, we're gonna, you know, go ahead and, and look up, but basically you can see that they're here, okay? So, uh, the first thing that we want to put over here is gonna be the neck uh, 01, and uh, sorry, the spine 05. So let's go ahead and search spine, put spine 05. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, basically uh, open the transform and the rotation we're gonna leave it exposed okay so let's go ahead and control z and control v just you know copy and paste this and now let's change the bone to be the neck and this time it will be the next zero one and let's leave a bit of space here copy and paste and this time it will be with the neck two and then uh, last but not least it will be with the head itself Okay, so we are of course not only moving the head, which that would look a bit too rough. We are also moving the some of the below bones, so into spine five. So basically, it will be a better uh, smooth, you know, interpolation and rotation. Okay, so basically, it's look uh, a bit nicer. Great. So basically, this nodes, you know, we just offset the transform, move them uh, to where we want. In this case. It's gonna be only with rotation. So what we have to do is go into this tab, which is my blueprint, and create a new variable. And this will be the rotation, okay? In this case, the rotation, we're gonna just put, I don't know, rotation, doesn't really matter. And now let's go ahead and just put the variable to be a quaternion. And I know that maybe, which is what? Maybe you have not heard about, you know, quaternion, but um, basically is the one that will work great for this you can see as a quaternion okay then in the animation blueprint we'll do the conversion so let's go ahead and just compile this and make sure to expose it so click this i which is the instance editable and then also expose this pound and with that we are ready to go um, but of course we have to plug in that rotation into this rotation you basically just drag it in here and now we're basically getting the rotation just copy paste and it'll be the same for all of them so just plug it into rotation of course if you, if you don't see it make sure that you of course uh, open the transform tab okay section i guess we could say uh so with that said we are good to go we can just compile and save uh well if you have auto compile that's it <laughs> so let's go ahead and close this and let's go into the animation blueprint so in this case it will be in character rpg character animations and now it should be this one the abp rpg character let's go ahead and double click this and open it up and of course we have all these stuff here in the event graph but let's first of all go into the anim graph and on here what we are going to do is basically use 
after the uh, control the other control rig of the foot IK we're gonna be adding another control rig so let's go ahead and drag it control if I know how to type the video control rig and now we need to do select this go down and assign a control rig class in this case it will be the CR head look at that we just created let's assign it and now what we need to do is and here you will see that in output we have the rotation uh, basically use pin let's click that and now it will be creating uh, this input so now let's create the variables just right click promote to variable this will be the uh, well the head look at rotation and basically we'll later do the conversion from which is this is a quaternion into uh, what other rotation we're using great so that said this node is uh, correctly set up so now we can go back into the event graph and of course on here is where we are going to be doing all the code uh, to calculate of that rotation okay um so let's go uh into one of the beginning points and basically let's do from before calculate lean uh actually uh, actually after so i think uh let, let me see yeah so before climbing which is also the last thing so let's just get climbing put it back here and just add a sequence so now i can get a ping to continue into climbing like we did or the other one to basically do another thing okay which in this case i have to be doing all the uh you know code here uh so let me just add a route node so i already have this set up here and let me save and basically now we have to you know uh go ahead and get all the rotation that we need and so on so let's go ahead and do so let's go down here just right click and let's just uh, try get pawn owner if I know how to type <laughs> there we go then we're gonna go ahead and get the control rotation there we go so we're accessing our player getting the rotation now what we want to do is just use a delta rotator and basically from uh, this will be the point a and the other point b will be well from our uh where is it we need the uh character variable Okay, which is here, which is, that was what I was, well, it's right click get character, okay. There we go, get character. I don't know why it didn't appear here. I don't see it, <laughs> but there we go, just right click get character, okay. So now what we can do is just get the capsule component, okay. And now just get the world rotation. There we go, great. So with that said, I can now just go ahead and plug that into the B. And that will give us, let's put this here, oh my God, there we go, <laughs> I like to have it a bit clean. I just right click, split it, and now we have all the different axes separate, which is uh, exactly what we want. Alright, so now what we are going to do is do some, oh, some calculations here, okay? So first of all, let's get our row, I'm going to do is divide this by minus five and then i'm gonna go ahead and clamp this so it will be basically clamp float so it cannot go uh so it'll be in this boundary from minimum and maximum and this will be i like a minus 15 and 15 but of course you can you know work with what you want actually we can we can go ahead and just put a bit more a minus 20 and 20 okay so you can test with that uh let's now get the pitch and now divide it by once again minus five you could also just copy and paste the node and then also let's clamp this once again like the value here let's put it up there we go and now last but not least once again divide by minus five plug this here clamp paste boom, and it should be the same values and now we get all these stuff so what we can do is get our this and then do a reinterp too but of course we have to get the rotation first so we're going to be creating a new variable which will be a normal rotation so add variable this will be the spine rotation okay uh, so now what we can do is go ahead and put this to be a rotator there we go let's drag it get it and now this will just reinterpret uh, reinterp there we go Reinterp. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and now two. And now the current will be the spine rotation. But now our tire is right click, split it into different axes. 
So the first one will be this one, then this one, and then on set this one. There we go. Now we can put a dot time of one and interrupt speed of 0.1. That will work for us. It's basically, this is just making the uh, smooth out the, the rotation. So it's not like basically too harsh, you know, it looks way nicer. Okay, so with that, we're gonna go ahead and set the spine rotation. That's what I guess set. And that will be the spine rotation. Of course, you're gonna plug it in with this reroute node that we uh, pasted before or just connect into the sequence here. And then with that set, I can just right click, split this. And I'll, I will have the different axes. And I think that I'm gonna be uh, like basically moving them out. So what we want to do is basically make rotator. Okay. So the X, we're gonna go ahead and hold Control and move it to be on the Z. Okay. So just double click and make a uh, pin here. The Y will go into Y. Okay. And then the Z will go into X. And this is just because the axes of the bones are different than the other ones and so on so we have to do this strange conversion but you know there we go we have sorted out and now once again just drag in our initial head look rotation quaternion and set it and now if we just drag this it will basically make a note which will convert it automatically for us great so with that said it should be it i can now just go ahead and select everything over here press z and this will be the head look at and now just compile, save. All right, so now if I go and press play, as you can see, if I look to the left, I'll look to the right. It looks to my character where it's looking with a nice interpolation. Look down, please enemy, more, and look up to the worst. So it works everything. Uh, so that's it, guys. If you found this so helpful, or good shape. If you like the video and subscribe to my channel, uh, the profiles will be available on my Patreon and YouTube members. Uh, join my Discord server, follow me on my social, check out the FPS course by Virtus with Mason, and with all said, bye bye.